So a while back, I bought this brush guard here for the Cushman. I got it at, I want to say I got it at Country Cat. Um, it's a blemished unit, and I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I may have paid a hundred dollars for it. Not sure. And when I say blemished, it's got like a spot over here on the right hand side. But if you ask me, this whole card is blemished. So um, we're going to go ahead and put this on as well. Hopefully the bolts that I have that goes into the side here are long enough to allow this right here to fit on there. Now on these, as you can tell here, the bolt on the top is going to have to come all the way off, but the one on the bottom doesn't. We're just going to have to loosen it up enough to slide this on. Hopefully we can do this with a one-man job. There's also a, like a little, little nick right there or whatever, but hey, if you see how I've been treating this cart, holding stuff around, well, you've seen a couple videos where I was holding that $100 golf cart around. I use this to haul pine straw, uh, dirt. I mean, we, I've been using it, but I love this cart at the same time, so. And just, just like that, the same one I previously welded, it broke on me. This is just the kind of luck that I have with golf carts. This is the one that broke. This is a good one. So there's about half an inch of this bolt still stuck into the golf cart. And that's very aggravating. Yep. All right, so my son came out here. Help me get the top off of it so we won't scratch the body on, on it, so we wouldn't scratch the body on it. Now, I need to take a drill bit and drill through that bolt over there while everything is assembled here. Tomorrow, go and get another bolt, put it in there so I can put that brush guard on there. So here we are, guys. Back now on that same one again right there. Remember, if you've been watching anything on this card here long enough, we had a bolt break off in here. And I had to uh, weld a nut to it in order to get it out. One of us, uh, one commenter said that he likes to drill these out and put uh, nuts in from behind. And I may just do that with all four while we got it this far. But hopefully I can get this right here all the way drilled through. And um, by doing so, if I can do that, I'm gonna go ahead and drill these out as well. We may have to step it up to a different size, but. That one's drilled out. Might as well go ahead and drill the top one out and get longer bolts, I guess. So I just finished this, just turned the camera off, looked at the phone itself, that's what I'm recording off of. Hardware store just closed, so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow before we get bolts to finish this project. So. All right, just got back from the parts store. It's cost me about $9 and some bolts, and we're gonna put all this back together, hopefully get it right. Thought I'd go ahead and show this as well. This is the top and a little bit that this rubbed on the, the garage door, the garage itself. It's smooth right in here, but for the most part, it's still got texture on it, which you can't see in any way. I think it looks a lot better, but uh, while I had it down, I thought I'd show y'all that as well. The top was textured to begin with. We just uh, wanted to, uh, to match as best as we could, so. That's what that is. All right, guys, so got new hardware, 
bolts, nuts. I need to put the top back on. Last night or yesterday uh, afternoon, I had my son help me take the top off. Uh, today he is gone with his mama. Uh, I don't think they went to a water park today or something. And uh, got my oldest daughter is at a church camp. So I'm pretty much stuck here by myself. I have no one to help me. However, we did put this top on to begin with by ourselves, and that's fine. If we can uh, put this top on again, the main thing I'm worried about is scratching the paint on the body. I do not want to scratch that paint. Uh, if we can get this back piece in and get those bolts in, and then we can just like kind of rock it down, I think we'll have a better shot of uh, getting those lowers in. Once we get the lower bracket in, we can put the front on and bolt everything in. So, Right now, it's just resting on this plastic, which I don't like that steel, but it is what it is. See what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, mother! I'm trying to calm down as it was coming down. I wouldn't say I scratched the paint, but I put a, a knob in it, I rubbed up on it. I'm hoping that'll just stay right there for the time being. Back bolts are in. All right, so the bottom, the bottom of these brackets are notched out, so the bolts aren't all the way in on this up right here. So we'll have enough that we should be able to slide in on there. So we're gonna do that. And then we'll put the bolts all the way through these right here top brackets. Going into the top. Hopefully that'll work. Without me getting upset or doing something wrong. I'll check this out and we'll see if we can get it or not. Like I said, working by myself again. These little uh, black spacers in there behind all that, that'd be great. Might need a little.
almost there. See if we can get this right here to work. Look at that. Might be able to be buffed. Maybe. But other than that, it's a good little scratch. I know it's very minute to the rest of this cart, but I would really love to have it scratchless. So, yeah. The joys of installing golf cart parts by yourself. Well, there it is, guys. We put this brush cart on. It does not hit the front rocks lift kit. It does come very close to it, but it does not hit it. I think it looks better. Just the front end a tad more length because once we put the 33s on here, we have like, I don't know, about a foot, foot and a half of tire sticking out to the front here. Uh, makes it look a little bit more meaner, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I bought this. I mentioned I bought it as a blemished unit. Uh, once I'm editing this video in post, I'll try to put uh, how much I actually paid for it and I'll show a picture of that. And I, I believe I still have it. So uh, when we were going to do this, when I was pulling one of these bolts out, I broke the bolt in the last video that was talking about these bolts. Um, one guy says he just drills through there and put a bolt through and put a nut in the back side. Um, I don't know why I didn't do that again with probably just because I'm hard headed. But anyways, that's on there. Um, if you're fooling around with these bolts here, these are, the bolts are five sixteenths um, diameter bolts. And um, I would recommend going ahead and and drilling those out as well, just so you don't have to run into this problem if you ever do anything like this. Um, next, we're gonna clean it up where we were uh, drilling at. And another thing is I did, I showed you a minute ago, I did scratch the body up, maybe I can buff it out. I know it's not gonna be perfect, I know this. N none of my golf carts are perfect. Um, there's a lot of builders out there that spend you know weeks on, on end to make sure everything is precise and perfect. I'm, I'm not one of those types of builders, I know that. Uh, but I also know that I use my golf carts uh, probably more than some out there, uh, you know, who, who build the really cool ones and slick ones. But, uh, yeah. It's gonna be in the woods, it's gonna be in the field, it'll be in the ditch, so it is what it is, guys. I appreciate y'all watching, and until next time, we'll see y'all later.